When talking about the rise of female rap, we have to give flowers to those who made the new generation possible. Although MC Treble lived a short life, despite her health issues, she accomplished a lot. This is Rap Narrative, the MC Treble story. Born Latasha Sharon Rogers, MC Treble knew rap was where her heart belonged. There isn't much known about her childhood, family, or overall personal life. It is believed that she started rapping around 17 years old in her hometown of Los Angeles, California. Her craft caught the attention of Motown Records. She made history as the first rap artist and first female MC to be signed to the label. It wasn't until 1990 that she had a minor hit record with the song, I Wanna Make You Mine. It peaked at number 15 on Billboard Magazine's Hot Rap Singles chart. A few months after its release, MC Trevor released her debut album, Gotta Get a Grip, that was released on September 14, 1990. Her sound was said to be a mixture of hardcore rap and commercial R&B. While living her dreams, she unfortunately had to deal with epilepsy. She received daily treatment to prevent the seizures. On June 4, 1991, just weeks before her 21st birthday, the rapper passed away in her sleep at a friend's house in Los Angeles. She suffered a seizure brought on from the complications of a brain tumor which resulted in heart failure. A few celebrity friends played tribute to her from Fife Dog and Boy Sumin. Despite her complications, MC Trouble went after her dreams, ultimately paving the way for female rappers today. 